In a dramatic escalation of political tensions in Bangladesh, attackers have set fire to the headquarters of the Jatiya Party, a political faction that had supported the ousted leader Sheikh Hasina. The incident occurred on the evening of October 31, 2024, in the Bijoy Nagar area of Dhaka. Witnesses reported that a group of unidentified assailants stormed the office, leading to a violent confrontation with party members present at the time. Fortunately, initial reports indicate that there were no injuries, but the extent of the damage is still being assessed. The Jatiya Party, the country's third largest political party, was founded by former military dictator H. M. Ershad in the 1980s. The attack comes amid rising animosity toward the party, due to its historical ties with Hasina's Bangladesh Awami League, which has been in power for over 15 years. Critics have accused the Jatiya Party of enabling a facade of democracy by participating in elections, while other major political parties boycotted the process. This ongoing conflict reached a tipping point when Hasnat Abdullah, a prominent leader of the student protest movement that ousted Hasina in August, openly called for the destruction of the Jatiya Party, labeling it a national betrayer on social media. In the lead-up to the attack, Abdullah and his followers organized a protest march from Dhaka University to the Jatiya Party headquarters, fueled by anger over perceived political injustices and a call to action against what they see as fascist elements within the country. As tensions boiled over, protesters vandalized the party's office and set it ablaze, while police and firefighters struggled to contain the situation. Authorities have deployed law enforcement to the area, with additional forces present to prevent further escalation. Following the attack, Mujibul Hake Chunu, the Jatiya Party's Secretary General, condemned the violence, emphasizing that the actions of the protesters were being watched by the public, which was increasingly aware of the clashes being broadcast on social media. He placed blame squarely on the student groups, asserting that they instigated the violence. As the situation stabilizes, the Jatiya Party is facing immense pressure, particularly from students who are rallying against their perceived complicity with the former ruling government. The backdrop to this unrest is significant. Sheikh Hasina fled to India earlier this year amidst violent protests that saw hundreds killed, including students and security forces. The political climate in Bangladesh remains fraught with uncertainty, particularly as Muhammad Yunus, the Nobel laureate, attempts to stabilize an interim government amid calls for justice and retribution. As we witness these developments in Bangladesh, it is essential to reflect on the broader implications for democracy and civil order in a country still grappling with its tumultuous political landscape. The flames at the Jatiya Party headquarters symbolize not just a physical attack, but a deeper struggle within Bangladeshi society, where divisions are stark, and the quest for power continues to take a violent turn. As this situation unfolds, the eyes of the world are watching closely, waiting to see if the flames of dissent can be extinguished before they engulf the entire nation. Stay subscribed for more videos.